The daycare attendant is a reoccurring character in the newer Five Nights at Freddy's games. He's an animatronic that contains the personalities of the Cheery Sun and the Dark Moon. The daycare attendant was teased in Curse of Dreadbear, then first appeared in Security Breach. Later, he had multiple appearances in the Tales from the Pizza Plex book series, and after that he briefly returned in the Ruined DLC, then became a recurring threat in the newest game, Help Wanted 2. I think it's very likely the daycare attendant will return in the next installment focusing on Fall Fest. With the future of Five Nights at Freddy's uncertain, many people have begun speculating that the next game will be about Fall Fest, which is a reoccurring Halloween celebration featured heavily in Help Wanted and Help Wanted 2. While I not only believe the next game will take place at Fall Fest, I also think the daycare attendant will be important. To start off with my evidence, the Tales from the Pizzaplex story of Bobby Dots Part 1 gives us some insight into the daycare attendant's origins. The sun was an old stage animatronic, and its theatrical gimmick was to become evil when the stage lights turned off. The sun was later reprogrammed to be the daycare attendant at the Pizzaplex. But the darkness trigger couldn't be removed, and the occasional blackouts in the daycare created the moon side of the daycare attendant. I think it's possible that the sun was originally created for Fall Fest. Thanks to Curse of Dreadbear, Security Reach, and Help Wanted 2, we know that Fazbear Entertainment is connected to Fall Fest and likely worked with them in the past or ran the event. So it's possible that they made the daycare attendant for a show at Fall Fest. Something else that connects this theory is the daycare attendant's appearance. The daycare attendant being an older animatronic is shown more clearly in his ruin design. The ruined daycare attendant has a large chunk of his face missing, revealing teeth that are very similar to the Mimics. The Mimic is another very old animatronic, so them having similar teeth makes sense. Looking at the daycare attendant's outfit, it's very out of place when compared to the rest of the Pizzaplex cast. While the rest of the animatronics have a glam rock style, the daycare attendant looks like a jester, and is very out of place among the other animatronics. I think the reason the daycare attendant doesn't match the Pizzaplex vibe is because he wasn't made for the Pizzaplex. He was made for Fall Fest. A jester would fit in perfectly in a festival, and would be great entertainment, so that design choice really makes sense for the event. I think it's possible that the Sun's original theater show was at Fall Fest. Having the sun turn evil in the darkness perfectly fits a Halloween festival. As stated earlier, the daycare attendant returns on Help Wanted 2, but most notably he appears on the carousel level, which seemingly takes place at one of the Fall Fest events. Next to the player's workstation there's a pumpkin, implying this takes place around October. The carousel's surroundings are hard to see, but Horoscope made a video showing the level out of bounds. Outside the carousel there's a bunch of dead trees, a water tower, the framework of a barn, and a windmill. All these props are seen in the Curse of Dreadbear Fall Fest levels, so it's likely this takes place at Fall Fest. Something interesting to me is that the barn is just a framework, unlike the fully constructed barn in Curse of Dreadbear. While it's likely this means nothing, this could mean that this is meant to take place before the Fall Fest of 83 from Curse of Dreadbear, since the barn isn't finished yet. The level description also says this is an antique carousel, confirming that this is meant to be an older attraction. The sun has a voiceover at the start and end of the level. Attention! This carousel is out of service and will require repairs before we open tomorrow. That is the end of my instructions. If I had been programmed with the knowledge to fix it, it would have already been done. The moon is also the antagonist of this level. The daycare attendant appearing at Fall Fest is already really interesting, but this goes even deeper. In the hard mode variation of this level, Jack of Moon is the main villain. He's a Halloween themed version of the moon and looks like a mixture between a scarecrow and a jack-o'-lantern. And the moon being chosen to be the only jacko character in this game feels very peculiar. Having a Fall Fest level feature the daycare attendant and a Halloween version of the moon is a really interesting connection. It's worth noting that this is the only level that takes place outside of Freddy's location to have a previous character return making it very strange that of all characters, the daycare attendant appears here. You can also get an achievement for throwing a pumpkin at the moon, again making some sort of connection between the Halloween season and the daycare attendant. Jacko Moon also appears in the AR world in the Foxy Log Ride level, which again has a lot of connections to Halloween. The moon has a lot of ties to Fall Fest and Halloween, implying there's a connection between the daycare attendant and the Fall Fest event. It's also worth noting that this game was released in December. Having the moon appear with a Halloween themed variant in a game released during winter is really random and it's some of the only Halloween content in this game. Jacko Moon and all of his Halloween content might have been added to draw a connection between the daycare tenant and Fall Fest, since otherwise it's just really out of place in this game. The moon also appears a lot throughout Help Wanted 2. He appears on both Arts and Crafts levels, Bonnie Bowl, the Carousel levels, the Foxy Log Ride, and the Princess Quest 4 ending. I also noticed something very interesting while editing this video. In the Phaser Blast levels that seemingly take place at Fall Fest, there are moon symbols above the booths, again tying the moon to Fall Fest. The moon's overarching importance in Help Wanted 2 might just be because he's a cool character, but I think his bigger role and connections to Halloween and Fall Fest could be building up to a larger importance in the future. I think with all this in mind, it's very likely that the sun was originally a Fall Fest animatronic before being repurposed for the Pizzaplex. 
Something to note is that the moon is the side of the daycare attendant with the most Halloween and Fall Fest connections, meaning he might be more heavily connected to Fall Fest than the sun is. If I had to speculate why, I'd say that maybe Fall Fest is when the moon first begins to emerge and he'll develop into the character we know. With the growing importance of Fall Fest, I think it's very likely that it will be the focus of the next installment of the main Finance of Freddy series. Thanks for watching this video. I know it was a little shorter than most of my newer videos, but I hope you still enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this, please consider donating to our Ko-Fi to fund more future videos and projects. You can donate however much you want, or subscribe to a membership to get early access to our animations, comics, short stories, games, and so much more. Thanks for watching, and remember... Keep the lights on!